Alright, hey guys, this is uh, Midnight Gamer with my second video ever. Uh, basically, I haven't posted any videos because I've been playing on a MacBook, and MacBook is a lot harder to play games on. So, finally, I got parts to my new computer. This is, um, this is just the tower, the Corsair Spec 03. I know a lot of people said that it looks really overdoing it, but I think it looks really cool. It's like industrial grade looking, and got the nice side panel right here so we'll open that up later yeah I think we'll start with the parts so these should just be every single part that I ordered to build the computer you know the CPU the GPU um, basically everything pertaining to that so I'm gonna go grab something to cut it open and then we will go ahead and get started looking at that all right so hey guys I got a um, little tool thing to open it up so we're just going to go ahead and get started opening it because I am really like eager to open this. This is going to be my first ever, um, well, build. Like, I've never built a gaming computer. And on top of that, I've never really um, had like a nice gaming computer. So, this will be really fun to uh, get started with. So, let me open up the box here and see what we got inside. Of course, these air cushions, which are always fun to pop, pretty much only pop. That's the only thing they're good for. There's a lot of them. So let's just throw all that out. And I'll go ahead and start with the, uh, oh, be careful there, don't fall. All right, I will go ahead and start with the more boring parts, stuff that you kind of, you guys. So this is my first uh, piece to the puzzle. Just pulled it out. Um, it's just the DVD drive, the DVD writer. I got this so I can make sure I can install Windows 8 and, or Windows 7, Windows 8, I don't remember which one I have. But anyway, I did that so that I could install it, and also maybe if I ever want to watch videos. It's just easier than using a USB, in my opinion, and it was only, I don't exactly know, I can't remember, but I think it was around like 20, 20 bucks. So, that is the DVD writer, of course. Get all that on the floor. So we got the DVD writer, and then let's see what else is kind of normal, boring. We got another box here, which I'm not sure what's in here. Um, we got two different packaging. I'll go through those in just a second. Let's open up this box. So let me go ahead and grab the little tool thing again to cut open this box. See what I have in here because I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I have everything out already unless they sent me like a care package type thing. That'd be awesome. I doubt it, but let's see. Alright. Um, what is that? I honestly have no idea. Oh, I think it's the hard drive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense now. So this is just the hard drive. Um, it's just a one terabyte standard. I don't remember if I got a Seagate or Western Digital, but it was around 50, 60 bucks. So I got that. That's just my hard drive. I felt weird because I leaned on this. I didn't want to break it. Um, this is my 8 gigs of RAM. It was a whole lot cheaper than getting like Kingston or uh, Corsair RAM. Vision Tech, it's 8 gigs still. It's really nice and everybody that I read the reviews on said it was a pretty good uh, RAM set. So, got that. And then like I said, I got the terabyte hard drive, the HDD, and then I also have an SSD, SSD because I wanted to um, be able to kind of like boost up the speed. It's only 120 gigabyte, just a Samsung. It was a reasonable price, so I went ahead and got that. Then, when we go into the box a little bit more, we have one of the more important parts, the Intel Core i5 processor. This is the 4440, and um, from what I've heard, it's pretty fast, and that's pretty much going to get the job done that you need. So, I went ahead and went with this. That's just my my RAM. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the I'm gonna go with the video card last because that's like the most amazing part of my gaming build. But we also have of course the motherboard needed for everything. This is the uh, Gigabyte uh, as you can see on the thing, the LGA 1150. It's uh, pretty standard but it's um, able to use all my Intel. It should support all my stuff and I believe it had 
you had an HDMI, which I think I'm definitely going to use if I want to plug it into my TV. So that's why I kind of went with this one. And it was also a pretty reasonable price. And of course, uh, Gigabyte is a really trustable brand. So that's that. And for the final piece, I think that's all that we got left in here. And we just got like some cards, information, software, promo codes, and a letter with all of my parts. So we'll throw those aside. Now we have just the graphics card right here. This is probably my favorite part of the build because I was not going anywhere near this graphics card. I was gonna be getting the GTX 750 uh, Ti overclocked. I think it was a one gig. And somehow one of my friends talked me out of it because he knows a lot more about this kind of stuff. And he said, you're gonna need something a lot better if you wanna play like next generation games and whatnot. So I went ahead and went with this. This is the Dual X R9 280 um, by AMD. It's AMD, uh, yeah, AMD Radeon R9 series. Um, it's a three gigabyte. This is literally a ridiculous graphics card. It was pretty expensive, but I think the money's gonna be well spent once I plug it in and realize how amazing it's gonna be for my build. Um, so that's the graphics card. And then, like I said, the hard drive's in here. Just can't have it move around that much. That's probably why they put all this crazy packing in there. If you can see, it's really thick bubble wrap packing stuff. So, um, go ahead and set this stuff aside. Just move it back a little bit so I can go ahead and open up the case now. And like I said, so that way we can do that one last and I can kind of show off the case. So, the case is, uh, let me go on this side, the Corsair Spec 03, the Carbide Series. It's, um, it's just a steel black case, so it's pretty standard, but I think I'm really going to like this case. So let me go ahead and open this case up, or let me open the case up, and then we'll go ahead and see how nice it is on the inside. Let's get the open. No? Doesn't? There we go. Uh, we need these. Cut it. All right. There we go. Cool, case or box open somewhat. So on top, <laughs> it's the actual case. All right, so this is gonna be kind of difficult. I gotta set it down and lift it up. So let me go ahead and get it out of the box real fast. Oh my, this is very horrifying. I'm like scared out of my mind that I'm gonna drop it right now. Oh my god. Alright. So there is the beautiful Corsair case. It is um, black steel color, and I think it came with. Hold on, because this is not like, good for sound. Oh god. Alright. It's um, black steel color, obviously, if you can't already tell. But um, I also know that it should match everything pretty well because it is a... Oh, it's upside down. You see now, that makes total sense. All right, let me go to the side. So, look at how amazing that is. Like, I just, I gotta see it there because, like, it looks great. <laughs> it's, it's so nice. It looks so industrial. It's got two uh, 3.0 USBs in the top. And then it's got the headphone jack and the audio jack, and then obviously the power button and whatnot up in the front. And then on the side, side there's the glass panel right here. And it's pretty nice. I don't want to take it off and break anything just yet. But it's really nice because once I put everything inside of it, you'll be able to see pretty much all the parts and show off all that. And then I'll probably have some white LEDs in there as well because the front will already have the white LEDs. Um, and then the dust filters on top, you can mount two more. But it's a really nice case. Um, it has room for, I think, five hard drives, two SSDs, and one, or three HDDs. Um, and then obviously, if I do open it up, which I don't want to, but I will, it's gonna have all of the other parts inside of it, or all of the other whatnot that you're gonna see. Let me just slide it off. I'll just take it off and set, show you guys. Oh my. See how frightening this is? Like, I feel like I'm gonna break it. Okay, there we go. Got it. Yep, yep, that was scary. So yeah, that's just the cover. And then if I turn it around, you'll see the nice 
beautiful uh, fans with the white LEDs. Almost dropped my SSD right there. But yeah, so you'll actually see inside it has two fans already mounted right here. And I don't know if you can see the back one. I don't believe that one has any LEDs on it. It doesn't look like it. So it's just going to be this one with the LEDs. And I don't know what this is. Maybe cords. I, like I said, I'm very new to this whole building a computer. I don't know if I just scared you guys as much as I scared myself when I stepped on that. Um, it was one of the plastic wrap bubble things. So, I'm kind of frightened. What? Oh god, I keep... Uh, get back, stop, no, step on. So this is, I, I'm assuming this is... I don't want to break it. I feel this... I have this sense that I'm going to break this. I don't really know what's even in here, so... You know what? Let's find out what's inside. I think it's just cords for the fans, to be honest, but... Or plugs. But I feel like they're already, already there, so that's why I'm very confused. Oh, it's a zip tie and screw set. That makes sense now. Alright, so that is pretty much the entire case. Um... This case, I went on, if you guys build a computer, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I haven't built computers ever, ever but I think this website is really cool. Um, it's called PC Part Picker. You guys have probably heard of it. Um, basically, you pick all your parts out on their website, and then it tells you whether there's any compatibility issues, like size-wise, if I can't fit that graphics card in here, because that is a massive graphics card. Um, but it said everything fit, so we should be okay there. And um, on top of that, it also tells you if any compatibility issues with like software, if you need a BIOS update as soon as you install stuff. Like I remember one of the uh, graphics cards that I picked out wasn't going to work with the processor that I picked out. And so it said I had to have like a BIOS update and then a few other ones that said like the fan won't fit in there, blah, blah, blah. So basically, it's really nice, that website, to show you everything. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please, you know, follow and watch more, subscribe, but... You don't have to, you should subscribe, it'd be awesome. But if you don't subscribe, at least kind of keep up with me and check, check in on my videos every once in a while because I really do hope I get better and I got all of this, not just for building, or not just for doing YouTube, but mainly for doing YouTube and having a gaming channel. So thanks guys for watching and have a great day.